Hey guys, welcome back for part two of our game at Sawmill. Part one ended with us kind of taking the green team's FOB. The game continued on for a little bit. Tan team held uh, most of the field, and so a ceasefire was called, and most people headed back to their cars uh, to reload and stuff like that. And so from there on, the admins made the decision that we would go ahead and kind of start the game over. And so right here, we're talking with our CEO. He's checking in with us and uh, kind of giving us instructions of what we need to do for this game. Um, and since uh, the first time we did it, it worked so well, we're going to push straight up towards the top of the field and push over. This time, um, the point here in this, this part of the field has already been taken by Tan from the last game, so we don't need to flip that flag. Rather, we're going to just start pushing our way um, across the field, which is to our left, and at this point, we can already see some green team moving across the gravel road at the top of the sawmill. And so we know um, that this is probably going to be uh, a difficult challenge for us to take. It was difficult enough the first game, and it looks like green team has devoted some more players, um, some more guys, um, to try and hold that part of the field because it is a key part of the field. It's important for us to take it, and it's important for them to defend it as the game plays out. So we can kind of observe more guys um, already taking position at the sawmill. So we're going to start pushing forward right here and see what happens. So at this point, we can see um, some green team moving around. It looks like they're going to do their best to hold this position up here and try and restrict our movement. And kudos to them. Um, that's a pretty smart move on their part. And so we already uh, realize that we're going to need some more of our team hey, to guys, help, um, help um, push help. this part of the field. Again, uh, just past this tree line, there's not much cover. And so they are... Uh, able to really kind of hunker down they've got plenty of cover back there they have a good uh line of sight to be able to fire from we really don't have that and so already they're kind of beginning to fire upon us and restrict our movement Corner of the building. We got one left side. I, there's more up here. I don't know where they are. You see the flash of a scope? Right side. So green team has taken up some really good positions here. They have spread out really well. The cover they chose uh, was really good. And so they're firing from really good positions. And we're not in a good position other than a few trees here and some, some shrubs. That's the only cover we got. You can see our medic actually got shot right here. Luckily, he was behind a tree. And another one of my teammates was right there. And so he's... Uh, able to put that medic band on his right arm, get him right back in the fight. And so now we've got to really kind of move. We're pulling up some more of our team um, so we can put some suppressing fire down and start moving and get out of this part of the field. Noah, drag Carter to you. Team, you copy? 
I need help up on the hill. I need help up on the hill. Ten four. If you get a flank, that'd be great. So green team is still putting some heavy fire on us and our strategy here is to try and spread them out as much as we can, make them shoot at multiple different areas in front of them and hopefully one of us uh, can get an angle on them. And so I'm just kind of creeping along this edge of the tree line. Um, you got this, you know, foliage, just um, shrubs in front of me, which kind of gives me concealment. Doesn't really give me much cover. Uh, they can kind of shoot through it if they see me, but I'm trying to stay behind this as much as possible. I've got three, four, five of my teammates that are spread out to my left. And so we're just trying to get as much fire on them as we can at this point. fun thing about this game is that we're in constant communication with the other fire teams um, in our CO and so they constantly are keeping us updated on what's going on in the rest of the field um, and so they'll let us know hey we really need we help here and so you heard me radioing back to them saying hey we're in a pretty good firefight here um, we'll head to you as soon as we um, push through here um, but if it's an emergency and you're absolutely getting overwhelmed we'll pat pull back and head to you and so now it's a time for us to get aggressive you see a teammate of mine um, push forward and we're just going to try and overwhelm them uh, here and take out their guys Guys, let's move. Can you guys leapfrog this next one here? Are you ready? He's it. Come for me. So my teammate and I were able to push this right side along the tree line. Our teammates to the left kept uh, kind of leapfrogging from tree to tree and were able to get the angle on these guys, put some heavy fire on them, um, and finally be able to flip this flag here, let our CO know. And now we're able, we've got the top um, half of this field taken, and now we're just going to push straight down um, towards their FOB once again. So we've continued to kind of push down. You could see us come across a few enemy that were down. Again, we would uh, loot them, make sure they didn't have any game advantages, check their kill card. And now you can kind of see us pushing down this hill, and we could see some guys off in the yeah, distance. We yeah. were about ready to engage them. They were about ready to engage us, and then we realized it was tan. So we had another fire team push 
in front of us, and luckily we were able to yell to them that we're on the same team and not uh, sh shoot each other. Hey, you good, man? You good? Hey. Hey, you good, bro? You dead? Okay. Hey, we need So now we've come across a few of our teammates, a different fire team that has come under fire. They've got a few casualties, a few guys that are down that need um, medic attention. And so we're going to try and help these guys out, pull them to cover, and then uh, get our medic uh, to revive them. Okay. Hey, we got a medic? No, grab it. Hand it back to me. He's a medic right here. Oh, you can't. You're not a medic, are you? Hey, Javo, you got bands? He's got bands. I have a band. So we spend some time here uh, fixing these guys up, getting them back in the fight, and then we will regroup with our fire team and push forward to continue engaging the enemy. All right, so we fast-forwarded a little bit. Um, we fixed up a couple of our guys that had been hit. We moved um, back down the hill towards the green FOB, um, and we only really encountered um, some light resistance. And so we waited around a little bit. We were in a holding pattern. CO uh, had us holding a couple points, and so we were basically just waiting um, from a push from green. And uh, sure enough, they begin to push, and they really put a – a good push together they worked well as a team put us under some heavy fire uh, and actually end up um, taking some of our guys out I've got three right side fence. multiple on the right side behind the trailer so most of the time throughout the day it seemed like when we would encounter an attack or engage the enemy the green team um, it seemed like there was just generally a few of them and it didn't take us too long to be able to push them back and take them out this time was a little bit different though they put together a, a good attack 
um, and they begin to really kind of push us. Go ahead. Hey, knockout gas. Javo. Knockout gas. You got a band? Noah, do you have a band? Multiple pushing. So I get hit right here, and then as soon as I get hit, uh, three or four guys really begin um, to rush us um, and start pushing our team back. Uh, a couple of more of us get hit, and then some reinforcements arrive. A really good firefight ensues. Um, I think we ended up um, pushing them back again. So you can see a guy from the green team here runs up on my teammate, throws a grenade in that trailer. My teammate ends up actually throwing it out. If it would have gone off when he was in there, um, he would have died. But the, the guy on the green team came up and uh, bang banged my teammate, but then ended up getting shot by his own teammate. And he can uh, He's uh, a little frustrated there, and uh, understandably so.